I'll be demonstrating how to use the HMI screen for your T300 machine. Right now, we're in the operators menu. You can see the temperature on the hot wedge and our set point to input the temperature for your needs. When you want to activate the swing, you click on the button. Once the button turns green, it will allow it to swing into position. With the swerve arrows is where it'll start heating up the wedge. A message will then pop up indicating that it's heating up and not at the desired temperature just yet. The clock button is the drive delay. That is simply how fast the wheels take off after the wedge and is in the set position. So if you set it for two seconds, it's going to swing in one, two, then the wheels will take off. Right here is our master speed where it's set in meters per minute. You can input any speed to your desire. Here we have the upper weld roller. This will increase or decrease the speed of your upper weld roller. If you have panels coming out of alignment, you can increase it to pull things back into position. Once again, you press on the button, input your parameter, and click enter. So now the wheels go faster than the master speed. Same thing applies with the puller wheel back here. Click that button to activate it on the back side. You can increase the speed by pressing that and you adjust the lower beam itself. The last button on the bottom left is aligning the wedge itself. And you can learn more on how to do that by watching the video in the description. Clicking the paper folder button will showcase the recipe page. From there, you can save and choose the seams that you want to weld. Click the pencil button to go in and input the desired parameters for each of your recipes. The gear button is going to be the machine setup. Now right now, you can see I am set up for the edge. If you're doing long straights, we have the table set, the pullers activated and the two front wheels right here. If you're doing inflatables, select the middle button and the polar wheels will be deactivated. You can now pivot and maneuver some of them. Now the third button is the single roller beam option. And those are basically the three main setups for this machine. The drive can be placed in reverse if you get your material stuck. You can turn the drive off by pressing this button. We also have the foot pedal as an additional option. The hourglass button showcases the outer meter of the machine. The tools button leads into a more in-depth menu. Here you can brighten the screen and change the swinging motion. It's a combination of different speeds of how you're going in when it's going left to right. These are also the up, down, left, right functions. Now different combinations can make your wedge swing in straight or swing in from the sidewall. It really all depends on what you're going for. Anytime you switch between heat systems, you must go to this menu and you'll want to auto-tune it. We have a note up here that says when you're doing the hot air, you will need to set it to 300, then click auto-tune. Hot wedge will be 200. Our last button is our welding test function. And this is where you can test the material at different speeds to see where your best weld is. 